There's a bit of a theme going on this week in our Summer of Swift series. Soon to retire veteran reporter Jim Swift's farewell from the porch pieces this evening and on Friday are aimed directly at the beautiful and beloved monarch butterflies. We love to watch the regal monarch butterflies migrating through Central Texas every year. But in late February of 2008, I got to follow them to their wintering ground deep in the forests of Central Mexico. Gaze across a pasture to the edge of a forest in the Mexican state of Michoacan, and you will already see some monarch butterflies dancing like fairies in an enchanted wood. But armed with a permit from the Mexican federal government, we were headed well beyond the perimeter to a place tourists can see only from afar. We were bound for the heart of the colony, De Las Mariposas, Monarcas. When you get in the forest, the first thing you notice is your voice drops. You can't imagine talking loudly. Quiet takes over. If you see this, you feel like really you are in a sanctuary, that you have to maintain yourself because it's, this is the, the house of the butterflies and you don't want to disturb them. You are amazed of the beauty. You say, wow, where I am, you know, this is a, like a magic place for everyone. It teaches us a lesson, I think. What lesson? That they do all this effort to survive, and we as a human beings are destroying ourselves and destroying the forest and everything. You know, it's how come we believe that we can make all this to our environment, and these guys are making all this effort to survive. by the monarch butterflies to survive has not been an easy one. Rosalie Dominguez Viagra is a forest engineer with the Mexican National Commission for the Protection of Natural Areas. I was surprised to see a police officer with a very big gun when we arrived here. Bueno, la, los cuerpos policíacos están fuertemente armados. The police, she tells us, are very well armed because in 2004, groups of illegal invaders came into the Sierra Chinqua Butterfly Reserve also armed. So, of course, she says, it's security as much for the officers as for the other people who work in the area. You see, this is the land not only of the butterflies, but of the campesinos, poor farmers of Indian descent who have for generations depended on wood cut from the forest for their fires and their homes. When the government banned logging in the area, many campesinos refused to cooperate. Which brings us back to Guadalupe del Rio Pasado, a biologist by profession who came to understand that if the monarchs are to be saved from the destruction of their habitat, someone would need to help the campesinos learn to live in the 21st century. Who would that someone be, and what would be required of them? Join us on our 10 o'clock report tonight for the answers to those questions. Reporting from Michoacan, Mexico, Jim Swift, KXAN, Austin News. Well, that was the TV schedule back in 2008. This time around, we'll bring you that follow-up report on our next Farewell from the Porch. See you then. It's amazing. And that next farewell from the porch will air right here during the same time, 6 o'clock Friday evening. So be sure to join us for that.